we have updates and immigration. Texas defends the necessity of SB4 law amid national opposition and rejection in one of its counties. Furthermore, various cities and groups are advocating the positive impact DACA has had on communities in the United States. I'll tell you more about this and other news below. Welcome to the Week 10 News section with Quiroga Law Office, a space open to share all the updates in the field of immigration. These are the most important immigration news of the week. We invite you to stay tuned for our content. Monument in Colorado anonymously declared itself a non-sanctuary city to prevent the arrival of undocumented migrants for nearby sanctuary city Denver. Major Mitch Lakind cited a lack of resources and fiscal concerns as the main reasons. The decision, also motivated by the arrival of migrants in Colorado Springs, includes collaborations with federal agency and a call to the President Biden to straighten borders control and deportations. Be careful. Local governments and advocacy groups support the preservation of the DACA program, warning that its end will harm families and economies. They argue that DACA benefits the integration and economic contribution of DREAMers. Moreover, they highlight its importance of essential sectors, including healthcare. On the other hand, Republican states claim financial costs associated with the program, while the debate reflects the value of immigrants in American society. The Administrative Appeals Office reported a 96.27% compliance in processing immigration applications in the first quarter of the fiscal year 2024, completing 1,018 cases in various categories. This progress reflects a significant improvement in its operations, benefiting immigration applicants. Experts and lawyers view the advance with optimism and emphasize the importance of maintaining an increasing efficiency to improve the immigrant experience. The implementation of the SB4 law in Texas, designed to arrest and deport undocumented immigrants, was temporarily suspended by the U.S. Supreme Court until March 13. This decision follows the state appeal against the initial blockage by a federal judge who deemed it unconstitutional. If enacted, this law could result in 88,000 annual arrests, increasing jail overpopulation and subcontracting costs. This has been the news summary for this week, brought to you by Quiroga Law Office. Remember to follow us on our social media platforms. Don't forget to share this news recap so that the entire immigrant community can stay informed and up to date on the most relevant topics that matter to us immigrants in the United States.